What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, boys and girls? You know who it is. I'm back in the building. I'm doing all the usual stuff that I am. It's Mr. Warmack. Today I'm going to talk about $15 an hour for minimum wage. And I'm going to talk about the correlation. Now, people in the service industry, like McDonald's, I mean, predominantly, uh, when I say predominantly, I mean fast food joints predominantly, they're going on this bit where they're going on strike, where they have gone on strike. Like, I know the one Stanwyck Street McDonald's in Pittsburgh is shut down. I know some others shut down around the country, and I know others have been slowed down. But uh, these workers want $15 an hour. Now, before you flip your wig, and you're like me, I see both sides of the coin. To a point, if you can get $15 an hour, God bless you. If you, if you can get that, that's what makes America so great. If you, it's a supply and demand. If there's a demand for $15 hour, an hour jobs, get that. At the same time, I'm like, $15 an hour for what? For grabbing frozen fries out of the freezer and dipping them into a, fr a, fr a fryer? For grabbing burgers that are cold and, you know, putting them on a patty and then time will tell you how long it takes to time them? What exactly, like, I can see it was a, like a skilled position that justifies this trip to go. But not every, not every job in the service industry justifies $15 an hour. It does. I mean, you would like to think it would. But at the same time, I worked at jobs like that. I worked at a K Fry, KFC, and I was a busboy at a restaurant. And I knew going in there, those were jobs weren't for my, for me for life. I knew those jobs, <coughs> excuse me, I knew those jobs weren't gonna feed a family if I, when I decided to start having a family. At the time I was young, I was going to school and I was still working. Like I said, I was going to school. That's so our first got out of high school. And I worked at a, I worked at, um, at I won't say the, the, the restaurant place, it was a restaurant, maybe about 10 miles from where I, from the city I lived, and I chilled there. And I did this every day. Because I, hey, I was, hey, I, it's one of the things I might talk about, like, about proud, about work ethic in areas, in the area of I'm from, we have a, something called a work ethic, but I don't see a lot of it in America anymore. People who had people were from certain like the like old school Detroit, like old like old school cities. I'm not talking about these cities now. I'm talking back in the day where they were proud to have a work ethic. But I'm digressing. I can I work I worked there and I worked there day in and day out. I worked there. This is uh, my, my pay was a buck something, but I relied heavily on tips. And some waitresses would tip me great because I hooked them up. And some waitresses would not tip me at all. Fucking bitches. But but. But you no, know, I didn't harbor no ill will towards them. I didn't. I didn't go tell the boss, "Hey, this bitch didn't tip me, and I'm taking care of her." Well, we don't do that around here. I just like, "Karma will get you." And last, Karma caught with a couple of them motherfuckers, so uh, made my day. But I didn't expect. I, I did not ask for. You know, when I, when I went for a raise, you know, I was moved. I'd laugh it off. I'm like, how much you want to raise? How about twenty bucks an hour? Uh, and we laugh it off because I knew I wasn't going to get. 20 bucks an hour for being a bus boy. I could I could do anything in there and I still wasn't gonna get 20 bucks an hour. It's just it's just the demand of feeling and the and the, and the and the position and the pay. And like oh, what kills me about these people who want 50 bucks an hour. You want 50 bucks an hour. You fucking up my food and you my order at seven bucks an hour. Every time I go to order, I gotta go back and like, hey man, I didn't get this or you. You know, you messed this order up. So I imagine how you're going to get a 15 bucks an hour. Oh, never mind. Go ahead, take it. I mean, it's, it's to me, it's, if you can get, it, it, it's what makes America great. It's capitalism. If you, if you can get 15 bucks an hour out of there, cool. But at the same time, what I'm not telling you is, and, and a lot of it's a lie, some of it's not, a lot of businesses 
will cut for other. You got to. You still got to find money. That, like, like, get the fifty bucks an hour. You got to find what other money comes from that. I, mean, I know they got profit, but what it is, they don't want to cut into the profit margin. They don't want to cut into the profits. You know, they don't want to cut all the assets at the end of the year. They don't want to cut into that money that they got. That's the problem with like like well, was, It's not that they can't afford it. They don't want to cut into like like I'm a business owner too. I wouldn't either. I mean, I get I like when I do business things. I do it. I work like people as contractors. You're not paid to, to me. You know, you're not working through my business. You're a contractor. I mean, you take care of your own stuff. Even if I would work with somebody on YouTube and we build, you'd be a contractor. I'm not trying to go through the, the medical one. I'm not trying to go through all that. But the other aspect about this 15 bucks an hour is, and no offense, you guys mess up this touch screens on seven bucks an hour. So what, what they're proposing is, is, I think a couple stores have tried these out. They have touch screens where you go touch your screen and well, this yeah, this set on. And I'm not, I'm not advertising for them because I'm making a buck out of them. I'm, aver- I'm, I'm, I'm saying your name because I go there when I go back home. When I go back home to Southwestern Pennsylvania, there's these gas stations called Sheets. They're the 24 hours gas stations. They're like, they're like the, the, the whoever, if you've been in the Southwestern Pennsylvania, all the way, I think, to East Liverpool. They're only, I think, always the St. Clairsville, Ohio, and Johnstown, maybe up to Harrisburg. They're like your local, they're like your local gas station, whatever, whatever chain they have. And uh, what I do then, I go there because I got they make good food, like 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 good food to eat, like subs, hot dogs, fries. They actually make good food. So when I go there, they have touch screens. They say here, you make your order, and after you finish your order, you have you know your your number thirty six, whatever the number you are. And then you go get, do your shopping, maybe get, you know, get, get a half gallon of milk. You know, maybe you want to get some chocolate milk, maybe you'll get a Pepsi, do what you do. And then you go online and say, hey, I'm number 37, and uh, get, they, get, they make the food for you, and you're out. And what they did is they cut down on the people that you need in there. Because now, you, you, you don't need a bunch of people at 50 bucks an hour taking all these orders like like and it gets busy by the way and uh, they're not running around and bumping at each other. You got those you got you got they have they have three machines where they're touch screens. And you place your order and you're good to go. And that's what's gonna to happen to a lot of people. I don't think they understand this. And then once you get laid off, you're gonna go somewhere else and cry you want for two bucks an hour. You knew going in there with the job entails. You knew going in there that, that like, like I said, it's just, it's not, some of them jobs are not skilled jobs. There are jobs in there that are skilled, don't get me wrong. I, like I said, I worked in a fast food place. I know a lot of them restaurants are, 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 are getting over on certain jobs. But the fact of the matter remains, how can you, how can you just for 15 bucks an hour, and you just open the, you open the, the, the wrapper on the burger and put it on the, on the, on the grill, the, the, the grill, you know, you, you tie the five minutes, flip it over, tie the five minutes, flip it over. Dang, there it is. Like I said, if you can get it, I'm cool with you. But at the same time, from a business standpoint, you have to, I, you have to justify that to me why I need to pay you 15 bucks an hour. I can see you were a manager, but then, with, then at the same time, say, say, all right, let me put you this way. Say you get 15 bucks an hour. Say it works out. Say something happens and never gets 15 bucks an hour. Are you gonna appropriate every other every other person's job accordingly? Like I have my I had this business, this video thing here. But I also work for a living also. I also have my my um I do like if you go on my Facebook, you'll see I post a picture of me at work. And I do I'm good at what I do. And I can I get repaid handsomely for what I do. But now um, now we're all talking about work like are we gonna get prorated because then those guys are getting 15 bucks an hour? Well, when does it end? When does it start like, like, mine goes by contract, so. I know going in there, I can't go in there and say, I don't want to raise, I know I, I'm gonna raise every year. I can't justify me saying, I want five bucks an hour to raise, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise every year through the contract, so. Is this something people need to look out for? Because if you want 15 bucks an hour, prove to people why you deserve 15 bucks an hour. 
Don't, don't just say, well, I've been there 10 years. You know you've been there 10 years. You, you're supposed to work. And if all you are these religious people, that's what it says in all your books of theology. It says the lazy are dead, or lazy don't serve to eat. You have to work. So, like I said, if, I, if you can get 10 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour, I salute you guys. But if you can't get it, or if you do get it, watch the repercussions happen because it, the shit's going to hit the fan real quick. So, on that, I'm out. Have a good day in peace.